Hello everyone. Welcome to General Sciences Biology Module 23. Today's lesson is on angiosperms, flowers, fruits and others. I'm Ritrisha from GK Today and I'll be taking you through this. Starting off with flowers. A flower is a composite system of modified leaves and knots which directly participates in reproductive activities and produces fruits and seeds. Usually, a flower is composed from four modified leaves which are attached to the thickened receptacle thalamus. This receptacle thalamus has four types of cycles, calyx, corolla, androecia, and gynoecium. The flower which has all four cycles is called a complete flower. Why, if any cycle is absent, then it is called an incomplete flower. The organics, calyx and corolla are called auxiliary organelles, while androecium and gynoecium are called necessary organelles. Auxiliary organelles, calyx. This is an extremely outer cycle of the flower and it's green in color. Um, it's made of sepals. The main work of calyx is to protect the soft parts of buds and perform photosynthesis. In some flowers, it becomes colored and its main function becomes to attract insects for pollination. Corolla. This is the second cycle of flowers, which is confined inside the organelle calyx. It is mainly composed of two to six petals and it is also colored, its main function being attracting insects for pollination. Necessary organelles, androgia. This is the third cycle of sepals which is uh, made from stamens. The stamen is the male sex organ of the flower. Each and every stamen has three parts, uh, filament, anther and connective. The vital component of androsium is basically stamen in which pollen grains are found in pollen sacs. Gynosium. This is the central part or fourth cycle of the flower and it is the female sex organ of the flower. Each and every gynosium is made of one or more carpels and produces female ovules. The carpel is made of three components, ovary, style and stigma. We move on to fruits. The fruit is usually formed in the ovary of the plant and pericarp is formed from the mature ovary warts. But in formation of some fruits like apple, jackfruit, etc., calyx, corolla, thalamus, etc. participate and such fruits are called false fruits. Usually pericarp has three layers, outermost layer called epicarp, middle layer called mesocarp and innermost layer called endocarp. Coconut coir is an example of mesocarp. In some plants without fertilization, fruits are produced through ovary and the process of this non-fertilization is called parthenocarpy and such fruits are seedless. Examples, banana, papaya, orange, grapes, etc. Classification of fruits. On the basis of fertilization of flower, there are two types of fruits, true fruits, uh, which are formed in the ovary of the flower by the process of fertilization and zygote formation. False fruit, uh, this, this is fruit formed outside of the ovary and in different flower organelles like calyx, corolla, thalamus, etc. And uh, this uh, example would be apple, jackfruit, pear, etc. In angiosperms, there is a lot of diversity and uh, there are different classifications on macro level. Simple fruit such as a bean, mustard, mango, lemon, etc. Aggregate fruit, a strawberry, lotus, raspberry, custard apple, etc. Composite fruit, jackfruit, mulberry, banyan, etc. And uh, there is an accessory or false fruit which we already studied about such as apple. In this diagram, you can see classifications of simple fruit, aggregate fruit, multiple fruit and accessory fruit. Uh, I suggest taking a screenshot of this too for future recommendation. And the table containing edible parts of different fruits. For example, in mango, it's uh, pericarp, apple, it's thalamus, tomato, it's pericarp and perisperm, lychee, it's pulpiarial, etc. Please do take a screenshot of this for future use. This is very important. 
Other important topics will cover some miscellaneous topics such as stomata. There exist various tiny openings called pores on the surface of the skin of stems and leaves called stomata which is surrounded by two kidney shaped agar cells. In a leaf, the number of stomata vary from 14 to 1040 mm per millimeter square. These stomata exchange moisture and help in transpiration activities. Uh, coming to annual rings in age determination. The branch of botany under which annual rings of plants are studies is called uh, dendrochronology. Chronology meaning the uh, study of age. By the elevation of number of annual rings in the plants or trees, the ages of the plants or trees are estimated exactly. Uh, this is applicable only to a period of few thousand years and only in the few areas where old wood samples have been preserved. Radiocarbon dating can date events up to 60,000 years, which is a different process. Due to chronological climatic changes, the core activity of the cambium of any plant, that of any place, is regularly changed. For example, in spring season, the activity is increased, while in winter season, it decreases. Consequently, distinct annual rings form, which is indicative of the parameter, uh, parameter of number of years of growth. That's all for this tutorial. If you like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel GK Today. Until the next tutorial, goodbye.